Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. Today's video is going to be all about what's in my hospital bag. If you guys have been following along so far on my pregnancy journey, you know that I've uploaded the what's in my baby's hospital bag um, already. And I just wanted to show you guys real quick. This is the bag that we're bringing for the baby. It's the Chelsea Skip Hop Downtown. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it above right now so you can go watch that as well. And then I'll also link it in the description box. But I just wanted to show you guys what, ba what all bags we will be taking to the hospital. So this is one. And then this big duffel bag is for my husband and I. I am 35 weeks and two days pregnant. I am having a baby boy. He's, his due date is currently September 16th, 2018. So we are approaching that date super fast. We're just really excited and I can't wait to show you guys what we have in our hospital bag. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is the huge <laughs> duffel bag that we're bringing to the hospital. And it's actually really, really heavy. I don't know what in the world in here is so heavy, but um, it has all of the stuff for my husband and I. We don't have any like extra bags besides the diaper bag. So um, everything is packed in here and I will go ahead and show you guys what we have in here. So in this first, side pocket but I went to the dollar store and bought some dollar flip-flops because I've heard that it's good to have some flip-flops to either kind of wear around the hospital or even just wear in the shower while you're at the hospital so I figured why not these do not take up too much space at all so that's the first thing that I have in there and then there is a, another side pocket over here where we have a little, I have a little coin purse that I just have some change in. That way if my husband needs to run to like the vending machine, we have just a little dedicated coin purse with change in it. Totally am not sure if this is necessary, but this is a little charging dock thing. Um, so that I guess my husband suggested that we bring it. We have it. We didn't like buy this just for this or anything. It's something that we already had and um, my husband said, well, if you're in the hospital bed and there's not really like a phone charger outlet nearby, near the hospital bed and you just want to play on your phone, then you can have this. And I thought that that was a pretty good idea, like I said, and it doesn't really have, doesn't really take up too much space. So we have this in there. We also, <laughs> so my husband and I, we like to plan things and just, we're pretty organized, you know, planners. So we actually put a copy of like the phone number and the address and the directory for our hospital. <laughs> and my husband even highlighted like some of the, um, main areas of the hospital. If I want him to go get some food or anything, he kind of highlighted like where certain um, restaurants are and stuff like in the hospital. We're gonna be delivering at a pretty big hospital, so I guess it's probably a good thing that we'll have this um, directory to know like where everything in the hospital is. And we just have this in our bag. Not like we couldn't look it up on our phones, but it's there. Also, I do apologize if you guys can hear any like background noise. In the nursery, there's the AC unit is pretty loud in here. Oh yeah, if you guys can't tell, we're in the nursery and this is the baby's crib and I love his little nautical sheets that we have on here. Um, and then I also have a pillow back there if you guys can see it. It's a little whale pillow that I found at Target. It's super cute, but don't worry guys that pillow will be removed once the baby starts sleeping in his crib so don't worry about that i have a uh i have three separate little baggies um that you can just find at like target or walmart and i just kind of decided that it was easier to just like put everything in their own little bags and it was going to be more simple that way 
So one of these is actually for my husband and he has just like his uh, toiletries in it. So that's that. I won't really go through all those things. So the things that I have are, this is a little makeup bag. Yes, I'm bringing some makeup to the hospital. Um, I just figured if we're gonna take any pictures or anything, then I wanna have a little bit of makeup. And it's, I mean, honestly, it's hardly any makeup at all. It's just kind of like mascara. Definitely an eyebrow pencil. Definitely need that. Um, but other than that, it's just a couple of things that I threw in here that I don't really use on a daily basis. Um, and then I could just throw in here and have it all ready to go. And then in this next bag, I have all of my kind of like shower toiletry items. So I have some deodorant, of course, and then I have some face lotion and some body wash. And I also am bringing a razor. <laughs> I know that that probably seems a little bit like too much. Like I'm not gonna be shaving my legs and stuff like that. It's not my legs that I'm worried about. It's actually like my underarms. I usually just feel so much cleaner when my underarms are shaved. Um, so that's the only reason why I'm bringing um, a razor if I just feel the need to like feel clean and have my underarm shaved. I am also bringing one of these little toothpaste and toothbrush combinations. I found these at Target for like a dollar fifty or something like that. So I got one for my husband and I both. I'm also bringing a little travel pack of Neutrogena, Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towels. And then I also went, when I went to the dollar store to get those flip flops, I also bought this little mirror and brush combination. That way I'll just have this little brush and mirror um, if I'm sitting in the hospital bed and doing my makeup, I can have a little mirror and then I'll also have a brush. Oh, I also did, um, these are shampoos and conditioner samples. So I figured I would just throw these in there instead of actually bringing like a, um, one of these things of shampoo or conditioner. And then the next thing I have is my medication and I am bringing some Tender Care Lanolin and I'm also bringing some Soothe's gel pads and some washable nursing pads. I don't really need, I don't really know if I'll need these things. Um, I definitely wanted to bring things that might help for like sore nipples because I mean, as a new mom, um, I'm sure I'm gonna have some sort of discomfort, so I'd rather just have something. Um, but I mean, I know a lot of people's milk doesn't come in right away, so I don't know if I'll need the nursing cover pad things. And then in this bag, I also just have a couple of scrunchies and a hair tie. So now I'll get into, let's see. Actually, I think I do have a couple more things. I have a dry shampoo that I just threw in here. Um, this is just something that I had around the house. I didn't really like go out and buy anything new for that. Um, and then, <laughs> so I put one of these energy drinks in there for my husband. Okay, so in this larger part of the bag, we have a snack bag that I just put like Cliff Bars and Rice Krispie Treats. Um, and just like granola bars and stuff like that. There's also some hand sanitizer wipes in here. Um, so these are mostly for my husband. I don't know if I'm really gonna need snacks and if I do then, I don't know, he'll probably just go grab me some stuff from like a vending machine or whatever uh, restaurant they have in there. Um, so the next thing that I have is a nursing bra. This is one of the nursing bras that I got from Target and I, I guess I'm just gonna bring this one and whatever one I'm wearing. I don't know if I'm really gonna need two, but I'll have an extra one if I need one. And the next thing that I have are these. I'm just bringing two pairs of the socks with the little like sticky safety things on the bottoms. Um, and this is what they look like. So I'm just bringing two pairs of these. I'm not really sure if I wanna bring slippers or not. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you guys suggest bringing like some act like actually bringing slippers instead of just having treaded socks. So the next thing that I'm bringing is this really lightweight cardigan type of thing. Um, I think that I got this on Amazon. So if I can find it, if I can find any of this stuff, the links for them, I will link them in the description box below. And if you guys don't see something that you want to know where I got it from then just leave me a comment and I will do my best to find it for you guys. But yeah, so it's super, super hot here. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna need this, but if it's cold in the hospital, then I'll have it. Okay guys, sorry if it looks like the camera's moved at all. My camera died in the middle of that, so. And then the next thing that I have is a nursing tank top that I got from Target. And this is really, really comfortable um, and I think it's just the the brand that you see all the time, the um, like maternity brand that you see all the time at Target, like Jillian and something. <laughs> I don't want to say it wrong. But so I'm just bringing one nursing tank top. And then the next thing that I'm bringing are these joggers. And these I also got at Target and they're really, really comfortable and they have pockets which I love, and then this like ruching on the side, and they don't go all the way to my ankles, which is good because like I said, it's really, really hot here. So I have those as well as just one more pair of pretty much the same <laughs> joggers. They look very similar, but they're slightly different. I actually like these a little bit more better. Um, they're just a little bit more thin and they feel like really really soft and these don't go all the way to my ankles either they kind of go like mid calf and then i'm also bringing some two pairs of granny panties these are super unattractive um and i just got them from target and they're i think they're just like hanes brand but yeah so i'm just bringing two pairs of those because I don't really plan on wearing my those underwear because I know that the hospital gives you like the mesh underwear and I kind of I think that I'll probably just wear those and then the next thing that I have this is what I think I'll be wearing on the way home this is just my mama bear shirt you, pro you guys if you've been following along you've probably seen me wear this before um, but I think that this will fit me it actually doesn't fit me right now but um, everything that I've read says that the clothes that you want to wear home from the hospital, just plan on having um, them fit or just plan on, on wearing the size that fit you when you're around six months pregnant. Um, so that shirt, I think that fit me up until like seven months. So I think that that should fit just fine. And then the last thing that I have in here is this bag of goodies. This is for myself and for the baby. And I bought this as like a set type of thing from just like a little boutique here. And I absolutely love these things. They're so, so cute. So the first thing that I have in here are these striped pants. They're a really nice material super soft and thin and they have this really stretchy band and then I also have just like a nursing tank top that's super thin and this is very wrinkly right now so don't mind that but I don't think that that will really matter in the hospital um, but so this is nursing as you can see you just kind of like pull it to the side so those go with the pants and then I also have a nice robe in here that matches those which I think that I'll be wearing this robe a lot in the hospital um, and I do plan on actually just wearing whatever gown they give me to give birth in I just plan I do plan on just wearing that for birth and then wearing this robe afterwards once I'm all cleaned up and everything and then the baby also has a little matching blue and white striped outfit. It's like a, a little sleep sack type of thing. So that I thought that that would be really cute for our first pictures together as a little family. So that is actually it for everything that I have packed in my hospital bag. Um, 
I didn't pull out all the things, the clothes that my husband has packed, but he kind of just has like your typical things like boxers, just some like plain t-shirts. Um, he has like a sweatshirt if it gets cold in the hospital. And then the things that I didn't show you guys were just kind of um, things that are pretty obvious like phone chargers. I'm going to also be bringing my camera to see if we can get some good clips like a birth vlog type of thing as well as like the batteries for my camera and then just like things in my purse like my insurance cards, my ID, chapstick and um, I think we're going to be bringing our letter board if we can remember so that that way we can announce his name in a picture with the letter board. I think that, that would be really cute. And then the last thing is this boppy. I think we're just gonna leave this in the car until, you know, if we feel like we actually really need it. And then my husband might just go get it from the car. But other than that, I think that is it for my hospital bag. I'm sorry if this was like pretty long. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any suggestions on anything that I've forgotten. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot. And make sure you guys are subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Oh yeah, before I let you go, I will show you guys my 35 week baby bump. So here is the baby bump. Alright guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!